Each September, half a million children begin the most important year of school so far. Year 7. CBBC have rigged this secondary school with loads of cameras. So you can see exactly what happens. As they make new friends and get into trouble. If you wish to find out how strict I can be, then break the rules I set down. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? But what they learn here will stay with them forever. Hello there, I'm Mr Thorburn and I'm a science teacher here. If you've ever wondered what secondary school is like, here's your chance to find out. This is our school. How can you do that? Conyers School in Stockton on Tees, where 221 New Year 7s will be spending the next five years of their lives. This time, we're following Libby, Tom, and Melina as our boys and girls make their way through the first weeks of term. It's tutor time and there's a hot topic up for debate. Who's better, boys or girls? We don't cry as much. Oh! Well, the boys are cooler. The boys are cool because they want because they want everyone to think they're awesome <laughs> and they want attention. We are responsible, we can give birth, and boys are dumb and girls are smart. They're a bit cool. I know, yeah. They're a bit like crazy, some of them. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are psychos. That's a bit harsh, Kieran. Listen, girls. Are boys are better because they don't have to go through the pain of giving birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and okay. Like, and like, yeah. Go on, Lucy, what were you going to say against that? At least you have the decency not to mention things like that. <laughs> you tell them, Lucy. I wonder what Jess has to say. Girls are pretty, girls are funny, girls get to wear makeup, and Jess girls are uh, always wanting to show off. So do you. Hang on, she's not finished yet, lads. See what's on the back. Boys are um, gross. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's done it. Girls care more about their appearance, so they talk more about that. <laughs> You're not having a dance off. Um... Boys are just into the football. Girls don't like that, so we're just like, oh, bye then. And then we all like shopping, and boys are just like, oh, for God's sake. So we, I think you do clash sometimes. We have better fashion sense. Oh! oh! The boys just go on and on and on and on about football. They don't go on anything about boyfriend and girlfriends. They just stay on one topic. It's so boring. We don't fuss about everything, like our, like our hair, how we look, and stuff, stupid stuff like that. Not all Year Seven girls are like that, Nathan. Meet Melina. Girls can fight and stick up for ourselves, and don't argue about that, cos I can kill. I can kill. I do a lot of karate. I train about three to four times a week. Um, I'm at my black belt and I'm grading for my next belt. I want to be a ninja in a sensei because it'd just be really cool. <laughs> I enjoy climbing trees because it gives you something to do and it's like quite challenging and it's like an obstacle course but you can go anytime you want. I like playing football. I'm okay. I can kick the ball. <laughs> For boys and girls, starting secondary school is a huge step which can make you feel more grown-up in lots of ways. Oh, no, who's going out with who? Amy and, Amy and that guy. That guy? Oh. One day, there's no relationships going on. I'm like, oh, everyone's on the level terms. And the next day, 
I just find out about all these relationships. He said he would love to snog you. Do you really like him? him? No. Yeah. Do you not like Max? Because someone's told me that you like Max. No, that he likes you. It's like the big news if there's somebody going out with each other. Here and all the that he, he, Libby, really. Oh my God. Oh. Some girls in your seven. Just like, oh, have you seen that boy? Oh, I fancy him. Oh, oh, oh. Chatty, bit... chatty, chatty. The shout at you. But like, when you're like walking past. If they're shouting at you, it means they fancy you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're on about like. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. Alex. Pack it in now. I swear, I've got. Alex, Alex. Amy, I'm Ben. Sit in the chair. It's a Ben. That's the problem. Yeah. It's Luca. Ben, Ben. Whoa. Amy and Ben. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't, I don't, I don't see the point anymore. Just, just annoying. Right, come on, let's go find Tiggy. We need to find him. She wants to go out with him. Some of them in the playground, like, ask other people out in year seven. And I think it's just as disgusting till I get a bit older. So, not everyone is interested in romance, but only a few days into term, and Libby has started to play matchmaker for her mates. And in my science lesson, too. Can I go? I mean, can I go? Do you want to go out with her? She's really nice for you. You're such a good couple. For Libby, Year 7 so far has been about making friends and looking good. Fashion is important to me and I like hanging out with my friends. I prefer to wear nice, fashionable clothes instead of wearing, you know, stuff that's really, really, really out of fashion. Seen them shoes? I love them. Probably got about 12 pairs of shoes. That's something I really don't know. Shoes. Oh, <laughs> shoes. They're ridiculous. Oh, my God. I do think it's good to look good, though, because I think it shows that you take care of your appearance and you take care of yourself and stuff, so... And if I was to have a boyfriend, I want him to be nice and then nice to my friends as well and to be good, but, like, not a really, really goody boy and to be into the sport. Hmm, that's quite a wish list, Libby. Who could possibly live up to that? Do you think I'd be a good one? Alfie. No. Well, you're both blonde. Oh, yeah, well, that makes a difference. We're both blonde, so I'm just going to go out with a blonde guy. I think, you know, when, like, you're friends with boys and then you get along really well, I think some girls just really liked a boy and then they wanted to go out with them and then word gets around so easily and then... Some people would just go and ask that boy out and then they'll be like, yeah, yeah, OK, and it just happens like that. The girls are still gossiping about who fancies who. Even Karate Kid Melina's getting involved. Who do you like yeah. in this class, yeah, Tell us. Do you like? I don't like him, really. Or are you going to tell me? Do you? Do you? No. Tell us That's not very convincing. <laughs> ow, ow, <laughs> bye. Libby's not giving anything away. But in fact, there is one year seven boy who's causing quite a stir. Tom. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I kept, I kept a secret that I like Tom, and now. No, we were on mm. the table in history, right? And we were like, oh, Tom, who do you like? Who do you like? And he was like, oh, I'm not telling you. Um, He's good looking. I know him from when we were little. My brother and his brother were in the same thing for rugby. So I used to see him there. The amount of girls, they're all like, oh, Thomas, I love you. They're all like that. I don't... I don't no, why? No, why? No, Thomas rejects most girls. I know. Though. He's been asked out by, is it like, five or six? You know, he rejected Stephanie straight away, Catherine yeah. straight away. He ate a chocolate girl. and then said no. It was on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and no, <laughs> she, she gave him a card and chocolates. He ate the chocolates and then said no. And they say romance is dead. So let's hear what Thomas thinks about being the class heartthrob. It's something I'm not really that interested in. Fair enough. The thing is, Tom might be popular with the girls, but now he's at a new school, he's got other things on his mind. My favourite subjects are maths, 
PE and music. Uh, my favourite sport's rugby, and I've been playing seven years. I'm hoping to get on the rugby team at Conyers. Yeah, I love sport. I hope my new school friends will think I'm kind and fun. Sporty and sensitive, just Libby's type. And the breaking news is, Tom's now decided he likes her too. Wait, you know Tom? Yes. Apparently he fancies me. So she's going to ask him if he likes me. Loads of people fancied him, and then everyone was like, ooh, who does he like? And they kept asking him and asking him, and he was like, I don't like anybody. But then he'd whispered it to Harvey, and then Harvey said my name, and he was like, Libby, what? And then everyone was like, oh, my God, Libby. Keen to find out if the rumours are true, Libby goes to talk to Tom. But he disappears. Perhaps he's just shy. You get it. <laughs> I think gossip makes girls feel involved a bit more. It does. It does to me. I think girls like a bit like or, like drama. I mean, even if they don't mean to, they always create it. Yeah, the girls have a bit of a, you know, gossip. And then you say, I promise I won't tell anyone. Oh, by the way, you know, so and so, they want to go out with so and so. You say, like, what? Who do you think likes who in this class? Is you fit? <laughs> They're like, oh, this person's going out with this person. I'm like, I didn't really want to know that. Kieran, I know your secret. Your sister's secret. Girls just fall out, don't they? But with boys, they're more like they don't care over silly little things. If one person goes and slags them off behind the back, they don't really think of it as a big thing. Are you guys talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep a secret inside me. You can't keep a secret inside me. I will have to tell someone. Connor doesn't like Isabel. I'm going to go now. Exactly. <laughs> I think boys are quite interested in gossip. Boys obviously have feelings and want to gossip and say things about people, but with the boys, I think, they try and cover it up a bit more. Talking of gossip, rumour has it that Tom wants to go out with Libby. But Tom still hasn't said a word to her. It's left to Libby's classmate, Jess, to find out if they're on or off. We're not going on because nobody is asked him out. Get Tom. I get it. He said Jay. When we went into the lesson, um, somebody said, would you like to go out with Libby? And I was just like, what? I didn't even know anything about it. And they're like, you two are going out now. And I was just like... What? I didn't know what was going on. You and Libby sitting in the K-I-S-S-I-N-G. So it looks like Libby and Tom are an item. Maybe that's not such good news for Jess. Libby, 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 you brought my heart. You brought my heart out. Sorry, I'm only joking. I said you've brought my heart now. Oh, never mind, Jess. Meanwhile, Libby is desperate to share the good news with her old primary school friends. Erin, I'm going out with Tom. You've got a boyfriend! Group home! Well, I say. And apparently, there's only one way to make it official. A for a hug. A wee hug. Oh, they're so cute! You did watch with oh, me, you did watch them. Show me. Oh, my God, did you hear? Oh, no. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> no comment. It seems that love is in the air for some of the Year 7 girls, but what about the boys? I know this may sound a bit creepy. In fact, I'm not going to say it, because it might just creep you out a bit. Alex is trying the direct approach with classmate Lucy. Do you want to be my special friend? No, thanks. OK. Probably be Luca anyway. I thought I was going to be Luca. Step two, find out who your competition is. What about James? Not like we're a friend. What about me? You're all right. Not in that way, though. That doesn't seem to be working. Maybe impress her with your pencil skills. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> OK, one more try. You're really nice, you, you know. I know, thanks. At least you had a go, Alex. 
Ben's approach is original, try to attract attention with some funny dance moves. I'm a terrible dancer, aren't I? And if that doesn't work, move on. I hear lots of gossip about Ben and his girlfriends. He always talks to everyone about it so dramatic, about lots of girls standing him up. He just keeps on asking girls out that he knows that he doesn't have a shot at. Oh. I'm not going out with anyone anymore. I like Lucy, but she doesn't like me. When it comes to dating, Ben's already a veteran. Oh, my longest one would probably be about... over about three months. It's nice to have someone like, like you can talk to. Sorry, I'm depressed. Being rejected. Bye. Lucy. Why don't you go out with Donna? I was like, can you stop asking people out? Like, you've asked like three people out in like two days. Well, something like that. Ben does ask you out. No, didn't. Yeah, didn't you just have to ask her out? Are you kidding me? That was a I was going out with Ben because he asked me out. I didn't want to say no. So I broke up with him the day after. Not a very long relationship. Not the worst. On your birthday. And then my best friend started going out with him, and that lasted for two minutes. Is that enough for our day? Isabel's friends came over and said, will you go out with Isabel? And because I was in a rush, I just said, OK, whatever, and walked on. She lasted for, like, a minute, and then she was like, sorry, I'm breaking up with you. We were sat there laughing our heads off, and she was, oh, my gosh. Hi, <laughs> oh, well, there's plenty more fish in the sea, Ben. It's been a few days since Tom and Libby uh, announced their relationship, but in our canteen big cook, Libby's a bit quiet. What are you doing? Libby, what, what's going on with you and Thomas? What do you mean? Who Do you love him? <laughs> He doesn't talk to me. When you do have a boyfriend, it's a bit weird because, like, it's so, like, awkward. You don't really like talking to them. He must be shy. <sighs> Why don't you go and talk to him? He likes you, you like him. It's perfect match for you. You don't even talk to each other. When you're not going out with them, like, you're better friends with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, you get along with them more. So. No. No, I don't. I don't get it because Thomas and Libby are going out. They barely even talk to each other. Like especially like when they were in a group together. One sat there, one sat there. I was like, okay. <laughs> With Libby and Tom an item, Jess is feeling a bit left out. But another Year Seven boy has already caught her eye. Do you like any boys in our farm? I know Jess does. Oh, keep it. What? <laughs> She just spilled your seafood. He has nice eyes, lovely hair. Um, he has a six pack and he's good looking. Hmm, all that at only 11. But is Kieran ready for a relationship? About the girls, um, the, most of them are quite annoying. I don't get on with a few of them. Yeah, I wouldn't have a girlfriend yet because it's just too early, but I don't really see why other people are doing it already, but it's their choice, not mine. What happened, Jess, was... I said, I know Jess likes and Keanu went, oh, yeah, Jess loves Kieran. Oh, yeah, I went, oh, yeah, Kieran. You can say it again. For the new Year 7s, the first weeks of term mean making new friendships with some starting to hang out together after school, too. Hello. Hello. Hi. For the girls, there's a sleepover at Poppy's with Jess and Melina. And it's a boys' night of pizza and football at Adams for Kieran and Nathan. Sleepovers are generally fun because you get to eat sweets, you get to watch movies, you get to do what you want, really, when you're not at home and your mum's out the way when you're with your friends. After a disappointment with Tom, Jess has turned her attentions to classmate Kieran. To find out if Kieran's interested, 
Poppy wants to call him, but Jessica's not happy. It was horrible when she asked him out for me at the sleepover because, like, I didn't want to look like a fool the next morning. It's an awful feeling. But if he did ask me out in person, like, when we were on our own, I would have said, yeah. But now, no. What, what did he say? What, what did he say? say? I said, um, Jess fancies you. I went, yeah, I know. I went, why, why don't you go out with her? I went, don't like her. I was like... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think anyone can suss out girls. It's just impossible to amaze, I think. Just leave them alone. He's going to get his head knocked in. Bring him back. Uh, I'm not sure that's quite the right approach, Jessica. <laughs> At Adam's house, the boys are hungry. Guys, seen this? Pizza, anyone? Do you want some of the plates? I'm just going to eat you out the box. There's also a garlic dip. You've got garlic bread. And while they're stuffing their faces, the boys end up gossiping about the girls. What do you think the girls get up to in the, in the evening? Um, yeah. probably me. <laughs> well, yeah, she's going to go. Yes, obvi obviously. <laughs> Bobby has to come in and wipe all her makeup off because she puts like tons of foundation in makeup. I mean, in lipstick. <laughs> and eyeliner. And mascara. Hmm. If you need makeup to look good, then you're not, you're not, you don't look good. That's a bit harsh, Adam. Poppy loves practising her skills by giving her friends makeovers. She's hoping to make a career out of it. No, I'm not doing I'm not having much Girls like to wear makeup a lot. I think it helps them with the self-esteem, makes them feel good about themselves. That's what it is for me. I'm kind of a girly girl. <laughs> I can't go out without putting on some makeup. I haven't been wearing makeup for that long. I got some mascara, some foundation, and a big bag of makeup for my birthday. I couldn't stop using it. <laughs> I'd like to do well in my GCSEs and my A levels and start my own business, like painting nails and like beauty kind of thing, because <laughs> I want to make others feel good about themselves. I'm not sure makeup's quite Melina's thing I'll though. Put that on, on. <gasps> oh. What have you done to what? me? Nothing! Oh, she just a little bit of foundation in your hair. Oh, you are joking. It's all right, you have so much of it, you won't even notice it. Oh, I haven't got my freckles! <laughs> my freckles have gone. It feels nice, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like I have a mask on. That's weird. Oh, my freckles are gone. That was gone. What's going on? My face is wet. It's all damp. I don't like it. She started panicking and panicking. Shut up, Mel. It's makeup. She went, I don't like it. Jess, I don't like it. Makeup or not, one thing's for sure. The sleepover is a great opportunity for these new friends to really bond. Uh, you know what? I'm glad I met you guys. Cos it's... I don't know. It's just nice. You... I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh hug over Jess. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! oh mate. Oh, Can we mate. shut the door, please? It's a hug-free zone for the lads. They have got other things on their minds. Go on. Go on. Oh, no, Go on. Oh, shut up. In the week since Libby and Tom announced they were an item, they've hardly spoken. Me and Tom didn't speak for quite a while. We're like, we didn't speak for a few days, but then it was just like, really, I think we started to realise, like, why are we like this? With emotions running high and rumours flying round the school, Libby's mate Jess decides to confront Tom. What did you just do? Or what did you even say? Tell me. Tom! Yeah, this is what did you say? Table. My God, this isn't funny. What did you say? Tom's ignoring Libby. Tom walks off with his friends, goes into dinner. She walks past Tom. She's complaining to me, saying, I don't know if I should go out with Tom. 
help me make a decision should I dump him or should I stay with him because I really like him I want to stay with him and I'm like if you want to go out with him go out with him if you don't don't so catch you say me again and you will be a mother by me what did you say to him I said if you broke up with him you broke up with you yeah. I wasn't really that bothered, I just think, because I got told that he was like talking about me. I mean, he's a nice boy and I don't, I'm not going to fall out with him for dumping me, but he hasn't told me why he dumped me, so. It's better to just be friends. He's a man of few words, is our Tom. It tends to be the boys dumping it, and I'm not a love doctor, trust me, I'm not. But I do know this stuff. So, although Libby and Tom seemed like the perfect match, it just wasn't to be. With Tom busy with his schoolwork, his rugby and his mates, there was just no room for anything else. But there'll be time for all that in the years to come. When you get to secondary school, everyone's just straight away like, oh, I want a boyfriend, I want a girlfriend, because I think they're a lot older, when actually, you know, you're like, only still like, quite young. A couple of months yeah. ago, you were in primary and it wasn't OK then, so... The case for me is that I've asked out but two girls and they both rejected me, so... Oh, poor Adam. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I think friends are way more important than, than girlfriends and boyfriends, because, like, friends are always there for you. I don't desperately want a boyfriend now. I think everyone was just, everyone was so mad to get a boyfriend and as soon as one person gets one, a lot of other people want one, but I don't want one now. Because <laughs> we're only 11 at the end of the day. Next time on Our School, the end of term approaches and Christmas festivities begin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And Year 7 hold their very own talent show. Oh, I believe, I believe you could be the world. Mama, so me not to waste my life. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh. Is that not? It's okay. I don't know. Is it on now? This is be a lot of talk about boys, I have to say. <laughs> don't come on the subject, please. Why? Because <laughs> I don't want to. Neither of you fussed about boys at this stage. No. no. Do right.